So to start off, we talk about our four main precipitation types, and those are going to be rain, they're going to be freezing rain, sleet, and snow. How do those uh, types of precipitation form? Well, we start off in the warmest one. That's obviously rain, and it's all based on this line here. We see this blue line that signals where we see cold air less than 32 degrees. So what well, we're in the rain, we have all of our atmosphere from the cloud to the ground being above that freezing mark, giving us the rain like we've been seeing over the last couple of days. When we talk about freezing rain, most of the atmosphere will be above that freezing mark of 32 degrees Fahrenheit, but there will be areas at the ground that get below that freezing mark. So when the rain falls and it hits that freezing surface, it freezes on contact, similar to what we saw last year when it comes around Christmas and what we could see at this time of year when we get those big temperature ranges upon the day. We talk about sleep. There will be a smaller layer of warmer air above that freezing mark that will form rain will fall through that warm layer, but then we'll get below that freezing layer. Now, not all of that rain will freeze as it falls to the ground, but some of it will and giving us sleet. And then when we get an atmospheric layer that's all below that 32 degree mark, well, that's where we see the form of snow. And that's what we see uh, obviously here in North Dakota all across the winter. And well, there is different types of snowflakes when it comes to snowfall. We have thin plates, we have needles, hollow columns, stellar plates, and dendrites. Well, we talk about temperatures to see the different types. We're looking, sitting right around 30, uh, 25 to 32 degrees outside. That's when we'll see these thin plates form. We drop the temperatures a little bit more, 21 to 25 degrees. We start to see needles. When we get to about 14 to 21 degrees outside, hollow columns. Now we get down to 10 to 14 degrees. We start to get those stellar plates. And then right around 3 to 10 degrees, we start to see those dendrites. Now we drop temperatures even more, especially here in North Dakota, 8 below zero to 3 degrees above zero. We get those stellar plates once again. And then once we get below eight below zero. Well, that's where we form right back into those hollow columns. So remember to continue to send in your questions so I can answer them here weekly on WeatherWise. And you can do so by heading on over to KXNet.